Alright guys, here's another short little guide on AOE farming as Hunter. This is going to be free form, so nothing is scripted or anything. I'm just going to be showing you guys what I'm doing here and uh, how to do this. So right now I'm in uh, Dragonblight. I'm in this area right here. It's the camps with the, uh, I think it's the Onslaught guys. Yeah, and um, I'm going to be pulling a lot of them and then uh, AOEing them down. And this is only possible if you have this set here. You need two pieces of the Rift Stalker set that causes your pet to be healed for 15% of the damage that you deal. So this is absolutely essential. And also, um, you will want the Blood of Rhino thing so that the healing your pet receives is increased by 40%. And then also a must have is Thunderstorm. Everything else is just add-ons, you know, a little bit more armor, a little bit more health and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and I also recommend that you, you stay as marksmanship. I've tried this as um, beast mastery, but when you don't have the, um, uh, the improved barrage so that your channel channeling of your volley doesn't get interrupted, it, it, that, that needs to happen, I think. Because as soon as you get interrupted, just one mob hitting you completely cancels your volley all the time. But this is essential to have the improved barrage. And glyphs, I'm just only going with the explosive trap. Uh, on this one, I just have something for true shot, the increased uh, crit chance. You could go with volley to to reduce the mana cost of it, but I don't really think that's a problem because you're going to be eating and drinking after each pull anyway, and you can't make it faster than what I'm doing because you'll be sitting and waiting for respawns anyway. So, all right, let's try this, see how it goes. Hopefully, I don't get dismounted. Uh, if I get dismounted, you will see how I recover from that, or at least I try to most of the time. It uh, goes well, but um, yeah, try to avoid getting dismounted. So like I do here, riding along the perimeter and on the outside until you've gathered them. You don't need to, but I use this uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, deterrence trap. I need to be fast because it's not my pet health. Oops. Oh, it didn't happen. Fuck. That's not. That's why I'm. Uh, <laughs> that shit happens when I'm when I'm streaming and only when I'm streaming this or recording, of course. Right. Oh, and the traps are pulling them. Right. Great. Let's just try that again. So you re you really need to be fast on your um on your stuff with the mist direct and then your explosives trap, because else your pet will die really really fast. Yeah. Of course, when I'm talking, I'm distracting myself, so let's see if I can uh, manage to do this the right way. I use Aspect of the Monkey for the increased dodge chance. Just when I dismount, I think it helps just a little bit with survival until the pet can get aggro, but you can play around it however you like. See if we can get these two guys. Apparently not. All right, and then the pet, the gecko. There we go. Now, the thing, and then the thing. And now, it should work. Yeah. And as you can see, the pet, look at the healing. Out on the right side, healing for 1500, 1100. This is, this two set here, here it is is entirely keeping my pet alive. So if you have this laying in your bank and you want to do some AOE farming, you can probably even do this in dungeons. It just, it it really depends, of course, it's 15% of your damage. So the more mobs you have um, gathered, the more damage you do, 
and of course then the more healing your pet receives so think about that when you're doing your dungeons if you go to Utgard keep and you only pull two mobs and you expect to keep your pet alive uh, I don't think it will happen you could try maybe if you add it with the men pet as well and you have the rhino blood and all that and your beast mastery maybe then but um there you go guys thanks for watching